Joe Para. I just got back from tour. I got to unpack and figured we could listen to some of the voicemails I received while I put my shirts away. It was five weeks, so there's quite a few. Plus the nice ones some of you left me about what you've got planned for your gardens this summer. Well, let's see what we've got. Howdy, Mr. Joe Para. This is Chris Catalina calling to see how you're doing, how you're holding up. Hope you're doing well. Give a man a call when you can. Ciao. That's a nice one. Good afternoon. This is Billy with FedEx Trade Networks. I'm calling in reference to a shipment I'm trying to clear. I do need some additional information for clearance. If you can please return my call. Thank you. Hmm. Hey, uh, you're probably still hiking. I just thought I'd give you a call back. Also, um, your voice, your outgoing voice message sounds kind of sad. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Anyway. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Hey, Joe, it's Todd Barry. Um, I'm just calling to see when the interview I did for your podcast is going to air. I, I, I remember we talked for like, I think it was like 45 minutes about travel tips. And I really thought there was some good stuff in there. I, I just, I'm just curious. Okay. Uh, let me know when you have a chance. Hmm. I thought I told them we postponed the turbulence episode but maybe I didn't. For seven days and six nights, to sunny Hawaii, Costa Rica, Barbados, Antigua, Jamaica, Bahamas, or any Hilton domestic location in the U.S., all we would like for you to do is to stay on the line to complete a short survey. Have you traveled on an all-inclusive vacation within the past three years? Press one for yes, two for no. Two. <laughs> Okay. What time? Hi, Joe. It's Olivia. Just letting you know we're getting very close to closing the James Bond deal. Hmm. They won't agree to the line changes you suggested or doing your own stunts. The scene where James Bond gets kicked in the head by a professional soccer player is just too dangerous for you to do. Good news, though, is that I got them to agree to pay you and smoke salmon. Nice. More soon. Bye. Hey, Joe, it's Todd again. Todd Barry. Um, I just realized that I told you the wrong suitcase brand when we talk. It's, it's actually Travo. Yeah, I, I don't remember the one I mentioned to you, but it's Travo. Okay, that's all. Thanks, Todd. Hi, Jen. This is Julie Hyam. Oh, wrong number. I got up this morning and I was fixing my hair, and I thought, boy, it seems like I need to go to the to Jen's. And I looked at my calendar, nothing was on it. And I checked my purse, and sure enough, I wrote it in there. I am so sorry. I didn't want to miss that appointment. Um, I'll make it right with you. And I'll. Could we make another appointment? I am really sorry about that. I know I messed your day up terrible. All right, give me a call. Bye. Three two eight six from eight a.m. till nine p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you, and have a great day. In order to wield the discounts, kindly call us back at eight three three six. One seven one four eight zero from eighteen till five PM Pacific Standard Time. Thank you and have a great day. <laughs> hey Joe, uh, it's Todd Barry. I, I know I called yesterday, but Todd again. I was actually on Travo's website and I saw they have a sale going on. I mean, they're not cheap, but it's good quality stuff. And you know, you're doing all right. I like my bag a lot. I really do. I mean. It's got some nice compartments and just makes traveling just that much easier, you know? 
it's been good though. Good. Things are good, and I'm grateful. I had a little invasive medical procedure this week, and was told things are fine there. And and I've been thinking that I've been pretty lucky. I mean, not because I got some new material. There's nothing really left comedically to say about colonoscopies, is there? I mean, I'm not going to say. Where's I going with this? Wonderful thing while traveling. I, I mean, I do get a little nervous when I'm traveling, but there aren't any problems. Although, uh, one day before flying recently, I did have a dream. We had just boarded the airplane, and and something struck, and I was just, just unable to hold it until we were in the air, so I, I ran to the plane's bathroom. Made it just in time. But then the plane started to take off, and, and I was in there, I was like tilting backwards. What the? That everyone on the plane looks back at me, and, I, and, I, and I'm like stuck with my pants down, unable to get up because the G forces have me pinned against the toilet seat. I'm there, and she yells to another flight attendant, tell the captain to eject the lavatory. She shuts the door, and the lavatory drops like a pod from the Airbus 321. And now I'm dropping through the air thinking this is it, all because I couldn't wait. My whole life flashed by, my, my first kiss, my, my first time to stand up. Somewhere inside me came a beautiful swell of courage and I, I decided that if this was it, I was gonna finish my crap. And I did. And I finished mere seconds before the impact exploded to me in the level. Oh my gosh great to get paid again you know? but i uh, got subscriptions to a lot of magazines anyway i don't know i just thought maybe there's a place for that on the podcast you know it's, it seems like it could fit nicely with the travel tips well, all right I, uh, I i should probably go to bed let me know when the interview will air and you know whenever you get a chance good night i hope that's okay for seven days and six nights mm. Hello, this message is for Para Joseph. This is for a provincial department calling to verify someone in activity in your account. This is not a self call. We're attempting to verify activity in your account, and you may speak with any representative at the issue call. Thank you, and have a great day. Oh, shoot. What's going on? Let me log into my account real quick. Why someone would do check fraud to another person is something I will never understand. Oh yeah. Yeah. Someone's trying to cash fraudulent checks for my account in Horsham, Pennsylvania. Never even been there. I've been to many parts of PA, enjoyed myself, and don't think I made any enemies, but someone there has got my numbers. Shoot. One thing is for sure is that these fake checks they're trying to cash are pretty amateur. I'm looking at these scans online kind of makes me wonder if I could do better. I also wonder if the names they're putting on them are fake or real. Perhaps they're the names of people who are deceased. What do you think is more disrespectful? Using a deceased person's name for check fraud or for insurance fraud. Does it even matter? I actually watched The Mummy on my flight home. Very good. Holds up. They disrespected the dead in that film and people got what they deserved. If I had more computer skills, I'd try and find these fraudsters. Give them a call and say... This is Emotep, a.k.a. The Mummy. Stop doing check fraud to my friend Joe. I'm going to come get you. Don't think I won't come to Horsham, Pennsylvania. How far would you go to protect the honor of a loved one whose identity has been stolen and is being used to conduct check fraud? Hopefully, all the way. I guess I'll have to handle this tomorrow. I'm slowly remembering all of the other stuff I have to do as well. It's rough getting back from a trip. Let's see. What other messages have we got? This is 
Debbie from the service department. Based on your driving record. You Hi there. I am calling you from AT&T. BP officer. I repeat, press one to speak with. C <laughs> Can't listen to any more spam. Let me try and find those messages listeners left about what they've got planned for their gardens this summer. Hey Joe, um, this year I'm trying to grow lettuce and it's my first time and I'm already having trouble because there's mushrooms grown in the sprouts, so I think I'm doing it wrong. But uh, once I get that solved, hopefully, hopefully I'll have some lettuce and my dog won't eat it. All right. Thank you. Hi, Joe. Uh, I'm uh, leaving this message more for my mom on her garden. She's got arthritis these days, and she's uh, had all this pack of sandra she needed out. Her hostas are doing great. And so I'm not doing a garden this year, but I wanted to let her know how proud I am of her, all her work, and uh, it's looking real good. And Hope you have a good summer, Joe. Bye-bye. Hey, Joe Para. I plan on finishing up my desert-themed garden. I have plenty of cacti down and succulents, especially those tiny little cactuses with the beautiful colored flowers. I'm planning to get some big aloe vera and maybe even a big tall cactus in a little refurbished wheelbarrow we got around. Sounds nice. Hey there. This is Cindy from Vancouver, Washington. And I'm hoping for my garden this year to be able to tell the difference between garlic chives and onion chives. I've planted both, and I'm looking forward to eating them. Bye. Good goal. Hey, Joe. This is Vlad from New Jersey. Just want to let you know, I ended up ordering eight yards gravel wow. wife and i decided we needed to do the driveway over okay so i was going to go with the three quarter inch bluestone from the local quarry but my wife wanted the decorative gravel so we ended up getting the three eighths redstone and i have to tell you uh that was the right choice driveway looks great garden will benefit surely from that. All right. Have a good one. Thanks, Flynn. You too. Hey, I'm trying to grow endive this summer. Uh, also called chicory. We'll see how it goes. My husband and I are still pretty new to gardening. We're enjoying making meals with food we grow ourselves. We grew a bean arch last year with beans from a seed pack we caught at your Bloomington, Indiana show. Hey. Did you know some beans can give you food poisoning if undercooked? Yes. We didn't either. We do now. We seem to have sprouted an enjoyment for gardening. We're trying tomatoes and jalapenos this year. Fresh salsa, here we come. Sweet well. Hi, Joe. This is Greg from Holyoke, Massachusetts. This spring, we added three new raised beds to our garden, and we have some chives and oregano already planted, and we're planning to add some peppers and some tomatoes, um, and maybe some other low-maintenance plants like herbs, uh, because we're lazy. Love the show. Thanks, Joe. Hey, Joe. Uh, big fan, first time caller. Uh, my name's Rick. I'm hoping this summer to make a wall of tomato vines across the south side of my pergola, right next to the hammock my dog sleeps in. Uh, I got pretty close last summer. This year, I think I'm gonna do a, a double row. Uh, I'm excited to uh, see how it comes out, uh, and I'm excited to see how your, your garden comes out. Uh, have a good one. Bye. Um, I'm not trying to be mean, but your voice sounds kind of bad. 
like a bad person. Um, so I, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Just checking in. If I don't hear from you sooner, we will plan to see you on Saturday. Um, and I think that's about it. So enjoy the rest of your week, and I will plan to see you on Saturday. All right. Love you. Bye. Well, I suppose you miss a lot when you go away for five weeks. While there's a lot to deal with in the morning, I'm happy to be back, to be in my own home. I'm happy that tonight I can sleep in my own bed again. Perhaps I'll dream a vision for my own garden. But thank you for the inspiration, and I'm excited for all the vegetables you're going to grow this summer. May the insects stay away. May you grow so many that you won't even have to go to the grocery store, except to buy ice cream and beer. Good night. Music by Yola Tango. Sound by Ryan Dan. Produced by Grant Farsi for Chestnut Walnut. Thanks to the patrons Christina E., Jonathan C., Dan B. for their support. And to everyone who left the message. They'll all be in the extended edition, don't worry. Hey Joe, it's Todd. Todd Barry. I called. I know I called yesterday. I think I may have called the day before that. Also, I, you know, it's, I don't know. I, I don't want to have like an uncomfortable conversation, but I, I just feel like you said it was like a specific date when my podcast episode would air. And I don't know. It's it's just like I had like friends, my friends in Florida, who were gonna have a listening party to uh, listen to the podcast episode and they they like they made arrangements for food and they like ordered pizzas and stuff and i think they they made a cake with like your podcast logo because it's like a, a big deal but i don't know it just what are you doing you're like doing a musical score with it or something it's like are you going it's like a star wars movie with like an orchestra or i don't I don't know, man. This is a long message I'm leaving you. Yikes. Um, all right, Joe. Just, uh, you know, just let me know when you're going to air it and have a good night. Bye.